recording? Yes, recording is in progress. Okay. Hello, everybody. Hello. How are you? Here it is. It's uh, Memorial Day. And I don't know how many people we're going to have. We, we have quite a few waiting, but I, I didn't uh, think that we were going to have that many. But uh, Paula can't be here today because she's going to a movie with her, her relatives. And, uh, you know, everybody's got an excuse today, except some people are back who were not here for a while. Well, wait a minute. I don't see where we had Mandy here a second ago. Oh, well, we'll wait and we'll see. Uh, let me bring everybody in. Okay, here we go. At, at all, at all. There's Charlene, and there's Marjorie, and there's Charlie Wallace, and there's Francine Witt, and there's Brian Neary, and there's Edward Berger, and here's That's right. Andy O'Brien. Charlie look very tanned from where she's been. I can hardly wait to see. How are you all doing? Good. Really? Let me see here. Why am I? Oh, I, I see. Wait a minute. Talk to me, everybody. Alex got a new oh. toy, and so he doesn't know what to do when we call him. That's that's the sum of it. Well, I don't know why. Let me see here. Hold on a second. I know what I can do. Up, 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 up. Stream deck unable to trigger. <laughs> Oops. I told you, okay. folks. <laughs> Hold on a second. I will just I have to do something. You know, there's something I I got a new computer. All no shit. I thought I did, but I didn't do. <laughs> Where, where's the audio? We all hear you, Alex. No, we I, know, I know you can't hear me. Um can you hear me now? Yeah. 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 Oh, okay. <laughs> Let me see here. But where where is the uh Where's the, uh, 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 I give up. Welcome to Tech Talk. Well, I'm not, I'm trying to get audio up, but I have to use my, I think I know what I got to do. Hold on a second, everybody. Just wait while Alex gets things working here. Alex with his new toy. And, um, yeah, I got a new, I got a new laptop too, so. Elgato, come on, where is it? Elgato. We have Elgato Stream Deck app. Here we go. Here we go. Let me see now. The theme of this week's okay. talk is Let's Alex see. got a new toy. Volume up. Yeah. No? Yeah. Stream Deck requires what? Accessibility multimedia keys. Alex is sending up his new second. toy. Elgato Stream. Oh, my God. <laughs> Uh, and uh, it's just another month. Uh, the uh, uh, what do you call it? Uh, oh my! Somebody's yeah. got some background noise going now, there. I tried yeah. to uh, up there. We go. Now. <laughs> what is that? Is that you? That's what we were saying. <laughs> Well, let me bring this down a little bit. It's, it's Hello, everybody. That's Hi. Hi. Okay, now you're okay. Now I can hear you. Uh, hey, look at the, look how relaxed Mandy looks. You're right. <laughs> yeah, she, I think she had a couple of cocktails. Yeah. When, yeah. Did you, okay. when did you get back? Thursday. Thursday. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. How long was the vacation? It was five nights. Oh, was that all it was? Oh. Yeah, it was on from Saturday to Thursday. Yeah. So you... I, I went to Tampa on Friday and visited my friend. She spent the night with her and she took us to the boat. Right. Yes. And, then, and so you're you you you're all rested, I would imagine, right? I guess, but both of us had had the crud all weekend, you know, just yeah. the congestion and coughing and feeling like crap. Mean, while you were on vacation? No, this, on no, this weekend. This weekend, this week? like, I went back to work. I went to work one day. I know everybody said, why'd you go to work on Friday when it's, I was like, just 
Yeah. So. Anyway, I went to work on Friday. I was fine. And then Friday night, I just started feeling yucky. And he, Henry felt the same way. He, Henry, so oh, we just boy. felt yucky all weekend. So I don't know if we got it. I guess we got it on the plane or on the car. Well, that's the trouble when you got a boyfriend. You can catch it from him. Uh, <laughs> although i never I can't, think... you know i never catch anything from marjorie that's the funny part about it and you don't catch anything <laughs> from me do you marjorie no just heartache <laughs> <laughs> well she's Why? feisty today really boy did i do this so that i could <laughs> yeah well whatever you know what you know, most radio hosts would not have their wives on the show. You know, I mean, you're a brave man. In different rooms. Yeah, and the re now you know why they don't have them on. <laughs> you know, anyway, I'm, I'm adjusting everything because I just bought a new computer. You're the first people to what? use my new computer. What did you get? Yeah. Well, I got the same thing I had, only I got the ultra version, which is twice as powerful and. I have a tw twice the memory uh, to run with, and I also have a two tera a four, four terabyte solid state drive. Four. Wow! And it gives me a lot. What I bought it for, so I had a lot of overhead, so I never yeah. slowed down, and things would never slow down, and so on. So, and it gives him something to do. What? Right. <laughs> it gives you something to do. Yeah. It, it takes it, weeks to set something up these yeah. days. You know? What? It takes weeks to set these things up to get them the way you want them. Well, you you you've got to use them for a little while so all the all the problems you have with them disappear because it gets used to you. Uh, mm -hmm. But I, but I just took you know the uh, I just took the backup you know the backup that I had What's that put it noise? into the new machine and it everything comes up in the same place it was on the old machine. <laughs> Except for some problems I had, you know, like one of my email addresses wasn't wasn't coming to me, and I had to call somebody to do something about that. And uh, there was a one thing with my uh, with my browser, but it fixed itself, you know, which happens. But here I go out and I buy a uh, uh, this super whatever. It's, was uh, six and a half thousand dollars. I'm I'm only saying that for what I'm about to tell you. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, <laughs> that's a lot. But this thing really is it's a powerhouse. Okay. Mm. Uh, What's and that I noise? Use... What? What's that it's... noise? I think it's coming from one of our people. It might be me because the wash machine's on. Let me go turn it off. That sounds like oh, people are talking. Oh, I see. Hurts for washing machine. She thinks we like think so. people talking. No, no, no. I think it was but her thing wasn't lighting up when she no, was Mandy's, on. Yeah. Mandy's was lighting up. Mandy's on mute. Yeah. Sounded like, like her fan. I know. It's always Mandy's fault. What a trouble. Mandy, 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 <laughs> Mandy. The only reason I'm mentioning the uh the price to you is that when you open it up. That it, did it. Thank you. You're That's welcome. Good. I'm sorry. Yeah. It, except for a power cord. Right. Right. There's nothing else in the box. Right. One other thing that Apple has always put in every one of their products. You ready? Oh, jeez. <laughs> it's you a, your car? It on the door. It, it's a door sticker. Yeah. And every time I've bought something from Apple, what do I get in the box beside the power, the power cord? The sticker. I could buy their $10,000 machine. I would get the sticker. But the difference now is I used to get two stickers. Oh, no. I used to get two stickers. You used to Why get the are stickers they too. suddenly getting so cheap? Well, you know, there's uh, things are more expensive now. We can't afford to make these lousy little decals. And what have I, do we have these all over the house? Is that what no, we No, in the kitchen door. I have them all on one little door. Well, here's a so new one for you. Going to the pantry. I have all these labels on it. For yeah. Everything. Yeah. But anyway, I mean, it's except for a few little things. Every time you set something up, you forget something. Like I forgot that one program, but it's working now. And, and uh, wait, wait till the night show. What? 
Yeah. Wait till the night show. We're the ones that pay for it all the time. <laughs> yeah. Right, Charlie? For- right, Charlie? Yeah, yeah. You always, what do you, uh, what um, do you mean you pay for it? Because you always blame the Monday show. You have things set up a certain way, and then you come into our show, and then there are delays, and then you get mad because nobody calls and all things. <laughs> oh, wait, Brian, you're blaming the Monday show? He blames the Monday show. Yeah. I don't blame the Monday show for anything. I blame the Monday <laughs> show for spoiling me. So ask Charlie. You always say, oh, the Monday show, I have things set up one way, and then I got to set it up the other way. I mean, look at the amount of people we have here initially, and and this is uh, you know this is a holiday today, yeah. And these are just people who have no lives whatsoever. It's true, no lives. For instance, I forgot to introduce Edward Berger. That's right. See, there we go. Were you out in the sun, or is that your? Oh, oh yeah, my camera. It's a guy messed up. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, last yes. week he was green. Yeah, I was green. Now, now my fa- now just my face is red, but the rest is all right. Yeah, yeah. Well, I always have to adjust mine to get a nice, good, pallid yeah. look to my yeah. face. Yeah, he tries. But uh, so, none of you had anything to do on Memorial Day, or am I interrupting? I just got that. Wouldn't miss it, even if it's Memorial Day. Yeah, that's right. That's what we do. <laughs> Gosh, it's wonderful. I mean, this is a, a, a lot of people for today. Oh, here comes Andrew Deutsch. Okay, so uh, we're now we're we're up to ten people. Uh, you see here, there he is. Okay, Andrew's here. Let's see if Andrew's doing anything. He's probably still in that same. Oh, you're not in the conference room today. No, I'm I'm on the re the reboot of Seinfeld today. Uh. <laughs> The, the reboot of Se- that is Seinfeld's room, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Hey, I'm I'm the I'm the new advisor to the show. What is that noise again? Yeah. That, that, sorry, yeah. sorry, it's Mandy's. Yeah. What's oh, Mandy? Yeah, Mandy's yeah. loud enough. Yeah. No, there's something in your apartment that's. Don't worry about it. As long as we know what it is, it's when we don't know what it is, we think it's my problem. And it usually is. Oh, stop. it's I guess this laptop. I don't usually use this laptop. I'm usually working. I just use my phone, but I guess my laptop. Yeah, well, they, they maybe have a tendency to pick up extraneous sound easier than you know. But you use okay, it. Okay. Here, let me put this on, then I can hear it more. Ah, uh, there we go. I just, I, I usually, I'm not using earphones lately. I try to listen to it off the speakers, but you know. I, I don't. So anyway, so that the, the headphones all those years is is that what made the hair go away? Is the headphones but for fifty years? <laughs> no, but I'll tell you what happened once. You know, in the old days, today today we have pretty soft padded earphones. You know, and things like that. In the old days, they were really hard. They're made out of bakelite, and they're really hard. And you put them on your head, and I got an abscess right here. Really, from the earphones. Yeah. Yeah. Was it was it an every everything bagelite or just a plain one? <laughs> it was with a with a schmear. With the schmear. <laughs> Bagel light. I see. Yeah. Okay. Why do you have to be so damn funny? I'm supposed to be the funny one on this show for crying out loud. And then stop passing me these notes for me to make comments on what you said. <laughs> uh, you're gonna put it if you're gonna put it up on the T for me to read, I'm gonna read it. But anyway, I got this big abscess right here. And and I had to go to a doctor, have it lanced, all of that, you know. And uh, I, uh, after that, I kind of wore earphones light, on my head really lightly, uh, you know. So mm. I know that's not really exciting, but I thought I'd pass it along. Oh, here comes Jeff. Here comes Jeff. Um, anyway. So, are you doing anything today, uh, Ed Berger? No, I am uh, not doing anything. Well, I mean, not right now. But yeah, I mean, no, 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 no. It's just regular day. Yeah. Yeah. Nobody invites us over for Memorial Day. <laughs> you know, I wonder if anybody's having a. Uh, oh, it's not Jeff. It's Pam. Oh, Hello, Pam. Pam. It's Hi. Jeff. I'm just making it happen. Hi, Marge. Hi, <laughs> Okay. 
Jeffrey will now join you. Yeah. His assistant has gotten him on. Play, play, you gotta play his entrance music. <laughs> Thanks, you know, Pam. You know okay. she's kind of she's kind of like Jeff's mother. I will now turn you over to Jeffrey. <laughs> yes. Know. So. Uh, I bet you don't believe face. me where I am. Show us your whole face, Jeff. Yes, show us your whole face. There you go. Better. Yeah. Oh, right much there. better. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Yes. You look healthy today. Yeah. Would you believe I'm in Georgia? Oh. Yeah. You're in Georgia? Mandy, are you still there? <laughs> oh, she's not there. She went somewhere. <laughs> uh, Ma Mandy's in Georgia. Where are you yeah. in Georgia? She back? Yeah. I know she was on vacation. Yeah. Uh, where in Georgia? Atlanta. Oh, oh well, guess where Mark Mandy is. I'm going to have to talk to her. Yeah, one on one. I know that. That's yeah. So we got two people from Atlanta on here today. Yeah. I'm, I'm here because my sister uh, had some surgery. And, uh, and, you kinda... see, and you want to see the scar? Is that it? No. <laughs> uh, you wouldn't you wouldn't look at this scar. She had a a bit of her foot done for surgery to uh, make uh, the pain go away, and it's and it's a good extensive surgery, but unfortunately the therapy takes months to make you yeah happy wow. again yeah. Hmm. So we're happening out. We're going to be here for a couple of weeks. For a couple of weeks. Wow. Yeah. 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 Well, I'll tell you, Atlanta's a beautiful town. You know, it's a great yeah. 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 So we're having a... It's uh, nice and warm. <laughs> Very hot. Very hot? How hot is it today? Oh, I'm sure it's in... Uh, could be 90. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. yeah it, what is it here, Marjorie? Do you know right now? It's in the. Let me look. Yeah. She's gonna look at her at her at her phone. At my weather report. Seventy-one. Yeah. Seventy-one. Nice. What we'll is it? There, it he's name. in Texas. Ninety-five. Yeah, Mister Ninety. Oh, geez. Yikes. There you go. He's checking. Are you, are you getting any here. storms, Charlie? Yeah, it, it's either. Tornadoes or it's bright sunshine, uh, almost a hundred degrees. Is that, yeah. is that any different? Well, it can yeah. be. It can be a hundred degrees, and you can have a tornado, right? <laughs> yeah, you yeah. yeah. Charlie, since you're in Texas, is that is that the outside temp or the probe and the meat out on your barbecue? <laughs> <laughs> <They're> both. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's the same. <laughs> can you really fry an egg on concrete on a hot day? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you certainly yeah. can in Vegas. I've seen it done. They've done it. Yeah. I've seen them do it on the news. We did oh, it in Phoenix. Yeah. Okay. Or you can come okay. here in the winter and throw hot water in the air and watch it turn to ice. Here, here comes Mandy Burn. again. Yeah. Mm. Uh, Mandy, are you there? Here she's connecting her audio. Maybe Oops. she had some problem or whatever. I don't know. And Jeff went down there. He's using up all the bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> Mandy, are you there? Yeah. Who knows? I don't know. I think we embarrassed her about the noise. No, no, no. Oh, there she is. Hello. <laughs> Hello. You're right next to me. I'm right. Yeah, embarrassing. Huh? Hello. I don't know. Well, anyway, next to you on the screen is Jeff. And you know where Jeff is? He's in Atlanta. That's right. Did right you down the street. <laughs> yeah. He's, in the, he's looking in the window. There he, he wants is. To know what time, <laughs> he wants to know what time the sausage balls will be ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But can you hear us okay? Yeah. I don't know what happened to my computer. It was. Yeah. We're not blaming. We're not blaming. We're not blaming your computer. 
blaming you. No, we're, bl <laughs> we're blaming you. That's what I was about to say. Oh, sorry. Should, should we send Jeff's wife over there to fix it? Yeah. <laughs> right. Come over to uh, my sister's house. Bring your computer. Yeah. And, uh, Pam will fix it up. What are yeah, you? Yeah, it was it was sitting on my ottoman, and that got really hot. So oh. Like, oh. So it, it's like it froze up. It just, it, you know, my view, like I was looking at the gallery view of everybody and everybody just froze. And I was like, okay, I guess I just, so I just got out of it. I left the meeting. And then when I picked up the, when I picked it up, it was really hot on the bottom. I was like, oops. Wow. I'm yeah. Happy. I guess that would not be something to do is put it on the autumn. Right. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. Put it in uh, the refrigerator. Yeah. 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 <laughs> this computer for all its power and everything that I got, doesn't heat up at all. There's no heat. Yet. No, really. There's no heat. I put my hand on it. Wait a minute. Ow. Is, no. it, a, is, it, a, is it a laptop or a, like a desktop kind oh, of thing? Oh no, it's it's a uh, it's a what they call an Apple Studio. Oh, okay. Which is really quite small. Marjorie will have to agree with that. It's quite small compared to what computers used to be. They used to have the little trash can one. You remember she that? Really She's using my old trash can. Oh, ah, okay. okay. Which is, you know, fine computer. Yeah. And then I have one of the old Apple Pros, Mac Pros. And those things weighed a ton. Mm -hmm. Just an absolute ton. But they were a great machine. I mean, you could replace stuff in them. It was just a great a great uh, computer. Well, what happened is Apple came out with their Mac Pro, their new Mac Pro, which cost about, what's the price on them? About $10,000. You know, if you want to get one decent. This thing is better than their $10,000 computer. And so you begin to wonder why they, why do they do this to themselves? They've literally you know, put their other one out to out to rest. So I, uh, I, uh, you know, but I'm happy with it. You know, I have no no gripe. I, I love it more than Marjorie. <laughs> true. Is it true? Is it true? true. Yeah. yeah. Well, I got a new computer at work a couple weeks ago. And I, when you were talking about just playing with it and getting it all work, you know, worked how you like it. It is true. It's like there, there's something about it that's just different. And you got to well, get have, acclimated to it. You have to break them in. And, and somehow it yeah. also gets acclimated to you mm -hmm. and to your work. Yeah, I didn't realize how slow my computer. I mean, I knew it was slow. That's why I said, please give me a new computer. And I didn't realize how slow it really was compared yeah. to this new one. You know, it's just it's almost too fast for me. Yeah. You know, I'm doing, you know, you have, I, with all the stuff I do at work, you know, you just kind of have a muscle memory of, clicks and what you click on to do things and it's like almost too fast because i'm like wait wait i didn't mean to click it that well i have a thing where when i if i turn this computer off and i turn it back on the screen flickers so then i have to go to display and turn it on higher and then it says well this is too high we don't we don't want this much resolution so then you lower it again and it doesn't flicker anymore but I, if I if I'm lucky, I only have to do that every couple of weeks because I never turn the computer off. You know, I leave it mm -hmm. on. So anyway, uh, 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 Francine, you had a uh, what? A, you weren't here last week because you had some kind of poetry reading or something. Yeah, yeah, I was a, one of the featured readers uh, downtown, so I had to get down there early and so on but it was nice I, you know i do that from time to time and yeah uh and and did, have you gotten good at reading in front of a group for this yeah kind of yeah i like it and i host a lot of readings too see well here's what i don't understand about literate people people who read books marjorie's a book reader okay she loves books not as much as she used to but she's she's a big reader i've never been a reader hmm. And I and people go, you're you're not you don't read books, and I go, well, no, I get my information a lot of other places, and I do read. If I'm going to read something, I usually read something that's like a biography or something like that. Uh, those are the kind of things that interest me. But I all these smart people who read books who have to go to a bookstore 
to have the author of the book read it to them. <laughs> you understand that? Yeah. Alex, come on. That makes no <laughs> sense. Right? I'm really yeah. smart. I read your book. Read it to me. You're right. <laughs> it is kind of, that is funny. That's so very ironic. I don't really read as much as, as I should either. And I and you know, I expect people to, you know, read what I write, but I don't read that much. I don't really read novels. Yeah. I don't I, I never really, like I never like novels. I think reason. that they just sort of fall apart halfway through. You know, there's mm -hmm. like um, it, depends. it depends on his writing. Right, yeah. of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. But you know, you might have a novel that starts out really, really good, really strong, and then it's like, okay, just can't like it just doesn't sustain the the energy and then it just kind of comes to the end. It's sort of like so yeah, you can't yeah. say that about all novels. It's oh, no, 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 the no. wrong novels. Yeah. I know. Wait, wait a I minute. Know. Hold on a second. Let me tell you something about Marjorie. The other day, we're watching a uh, gentleman uh, from Moscow, uh, which was on Showtime. Very good show. Based on the book, which Marjorie said she read. Okay? So I said to her, since I it, it, it it's evolving as it's going along, how does it end? And she says, I don't remember. I forgot. So how it, memorable was that book? It was good. I'm just getting older. That means she's read too much. She's read so many books. She they all run together. <laughs> she all run together. Run to totally. read the book again. Every time when I when we first married, almost every time I would look in the bedroom, she was on as lying there rather than watching television. She was reading a book. You know. Mm -hmm. Now it's MSNBC, and that's it. You know, <laughs> her brain is turned to mush, not because she's old, but because she watches MSNBC. Enough, Alex. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, I, I use uh, audio books. Really? Okay. Yeah, I used to do those. I can't read them enough. Well, because you have a problem, right? Yeah, since the stroke. Well, that's the way I work around it. Wow, that's great. Yeah, well, I used to use, uh, I used to do uh, audio books because I would have to travel three days a week to Sacramento, which is about 90 miles both ways. And I would uh, I would buy uh, audio books and listen to them on the way, you know, things I was interested in. Uh, so, it, you know, it, it takes away all that troublesome reading that you have to do. <laughs> <laughs> right. But uh read any good. Well, if you ever had trouble falling asleep, that's the way to go. Because I've been trying to start this book for like six months. And you get, you get what three so sentences? Just in. <laughs> yeah, go right to sleep. I mean, I I used to be a big reader too. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's because of phones or what. If I I just can't can't hold my attention. I hate it. I used to read. I, I can't either. I don't have the attention anymore. And it's all because it's printing time. Every now and then I have to remind her I get into bed at night and she goes, Who are you? You know. <laughs> <laughs> like, although, when uh, I got to say something about you sleeping, Marjorie, uh -oh. you'll get mad. Uh -oh. She so takes bad. up so much acreage on the bed <laughs> that when I get into it, I have to kind of like, you know, oh, look who's here. Paul is here. Uh, I have to I kind of she got back early. Brunch over to the side. Mm -hmm. And uh, finally, I, I've had to move you the last couple of nights. I've had to ask you to move. She's very good about it. I say, will you move? And she just, she's very accommodating. She's very nice. I'm uh, a kid. Huh? <laughs> yeah, I'm a kid. The kids yeah. take up all the bed. What do you mm -hmm. mean? And then, and then Adrian would stretch, and she stretched like that, and she hit me in the face in the middle of the night all the time. Yeah. And she'd want to sleep with you and your and your wife, right? They your always wife, do. you're you're a, a, the woman you're shacking whatever, up with. Whatever. The woman you're shacking <laughs> up with. Hello, Paula. Hi. Hi. Hey. I just got back from seeing the movie Fall Guy. On purpose. Oh. It was, it was. <laughs> I, have what? A, I have a copy of it and we only got five minutes into it. 
<laughs> well, I would, I, would really, I would recommend seeing it um, on the big screen. Well, of course, you have a big screen, but, uh, you know, on the real big screen, um, because it's a lot of fun. There are a lot of movie references, and and uh, the, the it's funny, and the writing is really good. And Maybe you should try it again, Marjorie. I, I, I really enjoyed being in the movie theater. I really, you know, I miss that. I don't oh, you, miss the movie theater. You, you really miss, miss people it. kicking the back of your seat. Um, <laughs> Eating and talking on your phones. No, they're not. They were. Or they people were well behaved, and and um, it was it was uh, a very enjoyable. The only thing that was that was a negative was uh, they they you know they bombard you with the with the um, coming attractions and you know like give you a headache. Yeah. yeah. But 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 the movie itself was was clever and um, very enjoyable. I would well, do you enjoy that? You you like that review, Marjorie? Should we try it again? No, no. Oh, That's what I live with. That's what I live with. Her, her best it's friend, all yours, Paula. Alex. Her best yeah, friend, Paula, friend. who she always likes to say to me, Paula says this is very good, or Paula oh, says, really very bad. <laughs> uh, uh, and, and now when I when she says Fall Guy is good, and I have a copy of it here, what what do you do, Marjorie? Nah, I don't want to watch it. Or she puts it, that's not for me. Oh, is that the movie with uh, what's his name? Uh, is it Ryan, Ryan Gosling. Gosling. It's Ryan Gosling, Gosling and Emily Blunt. She finally so, Ryan Gosling made another movie. Yeah. All right. <laughs> Listen, if you don't want to go to the movie, don't go to the movie. But it was yeah. a good movie. What and Emily Blunt. Ryan Emily, Emily Blunt's in it. I love her. I think she's. Is true. it like this? Is it like the TV show, like Fall Guy, like the stunt guy? No, I don't even know know that, what that was like. Well, it's about a stunt guy. That's why they called the. Yeah, remember guy. the TV show Fall Guy? Yeah, yeah. yeah we made this. I didn't know if it was like. Okay. You need to know who. What'd you say about Fall Guy, Mandy? I just thought it was like based on that show, like it was a week. Uh, I think it is actually. Yeah. Well, it's about it's it's mostly about stuntmen. And yeah. there's a lot of there's a lot of references to old movies like uh, Sylvester Stallone and Tom Cruise and and they're they're like funny references, and um it's never mind. Well, no, that's fine. <laughs> but you no. enjoyed it, and you enjoyed very, the, you very enjoyed. much. I enjoyed now it very the much. the theater experience was the theater clean. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, like, um, I mean, this is this is still a thriving theater. There have been a lot of movie theaters that are closing around here, but but this is this is yeah. a you know. Yeah, because what happened is we went back to a theater. We finally decided, to like, uh, uh, before Oppenheimer, there was one other film we went to go see, and I said, you know, let's go to the movies because we want to support our local movie theater because it's right after COVID and. And we saw them three D. Remember. Something like that. But anyway, yeah, we went in. The theater was filthy, and you would have thought that during COVID they could have cleaned it. They had time uh, to like scrub it, you know. What I would what I would guess about that is that that um that, that theater is, is on its way to be closed. Well, it was it was one of the it was the first theater that ever had the comfy chairs that we knew of. So we went there all the time because we love the comfy mm. chairs. But eventually, enough people sat in those comfy chairs and they became like rotten sofas. You know? <laughs> and, and, and they didn't do anything about them. They you, just, know, you, know. you know what they call that stuff on the floor, don't you? C well, I know what they call them in a porno theater. What do they call them in a regular theater? Cinemuck. Cinemuck. <laughs> Cinemuck? Do they really? No. It was, oh. it was a comedian years ago that used to say that Rich, Rich Hall had the, I can't think of what he called where he made up words. Sniglets. 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 Yeah. I do have a name for you. You know what they used to call the people at porno theaters and at uh, peep shows to clean the floors? Bennett's? Scum dubbers. Ew. <laughs> That's gross. That's a little information you probably wish you never had, but <laughs> you can take it to the bank. Um, where did Paula go? Yeah, where did Paula go? Back to the movies. Yeah. <laughs> it just kind of disappeared here well anyway yeah. wait for it to come back but uh uh when's the last time any of you have been to a movie theater last weekend wow really why 
why well, my niece was here, so we usually go to a movie. Okay, so uh, what movie did you see? Uh, well, uh, unsung heroes. Mm. Heard of that. That yeah, I know it's not very. I have a problem because uh, she works in a group home with uh, retarded people, and one of the things they do is they go to the movies. So I have to right. find like a lesser oh, movie. Good. So she she sees most of the movies. Oh, right. see. so you have to go to a movie she hasn't seen. Yeah, right. Yeah. Wow. So. I saw the Woody Allen movie. Um, no, no, it's not a Woody. No, no, I I went to see the Woody Allen oh, movie good. a couple weeks ago. Yeah. Which which movie? Who Deschamps? What? Who Deschamps? It's it's um uh, he's not in it. He directed it and wrote it, and um. It's in French. It's all in oh. French. It's all in French. And I was sitting in the back of the theater. It was in the comfy seats, you know. Um, but um, I, I had trouble seeing the subtitles. I really mm. had a... We just at... got a note from Paula. Her lights went out. <laughs> oh, <wow. laughs> well, I see moved to Texas. Your damn bill. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's, uh, you know... Um, I, d I didn't know his latest film was all in French. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, probably so pissed at America right now, he didn't want them to understand. So it was good. It was very good. Well, you know, occasionally, he lately, he does something good. I mean, he's, he's really old. And as you get older, it's very hard to make movies. Making a movie is a very, very taxing yeah. thing, you know. And uh, he... Uh, 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 a Hitchcock, for instance, if you look at his last movie ever made, the camera hardly moves. You know? mm. So, I mean, it, it, as as they get older, and he's in his late 80s now. Yeah. 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 And he's having a hard time getting investors. Right. Uh, so he probably could get French investors because they were ready to shell out the bucks for him. Now that Jerry Lewis died, it's easier to get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, what was the last movie you went to, Brian? Uh, I don't even know. Gone with the Wind. No. <laughs> Some kids movie, I'm guessing. <laughs> I yeah, we haven't seen a movie in a long, long time. I mean, did you? Did you, uh, maybe Adrian wanted to go see a movie and you went with her? No, we watch movies home. You know, we have surround sound and the big screen and everything. We have everything here we need. So. So how many? Let me ask you a question. How many times has Adrian actually been to a movie theater? Because she she's the youngest kid in here. She's only been to like one movie. I think that was for her to go watch. But when she was younger, like a young, she tried to go to movies, but then I'd have to take her out like halfway through the movie. <laughs> yeah. But so she's kind of growing up on the idea that you can watch a movie at home, right? Better at home. Yeah. Better. Yeah. Better at home. Yeah. And the popcorn's cheaper Costco too. Popcorn, yeah. And, yeah. yeah. The popcorn's cheaper, and it, it, it people aren't kicking the back of your chair, and they're not on their cell phones. <laughs> and uh, you can take you know, bathroom breaks too without missing hey, a movie. That's right. That's right. <laughs> uh, you, my sister right. came over yesterday to visit, and she was saying, "I was telling her about my visit with my friend, my college friends, which she obviously knew she was." friends with her too she said yeah i hadn't seen sharon in forever she said remember when i me and her were extras in that movie and i was like uh no what what movie she said it was with bruce jenner no way was, jenner? i know this would have been like in the mid 80s wow and i was like i don't remember how come i wasn't invited i mean she was my friend from college <laughs> she said yeah, i didn't I just know bruce jenner home. made i didn't know bruce jenner made right. a movie Hey, right, so I texted her. I said, "We're sitting here talking about this movie. I, how come I didn't even know that y'all were in an extra in a movie?" She's like, "Yeah, remember when I took acting lessons?" I was like, "Oh, okay." That's cool. She's like, "Yeah, I want to know." She goes, "Find Google it and see if it was ever released." She said it was called "A Reason for Being," but I googled it and it doesn't show up. And so it obviously was never released. But they were like my sister said they were in a funeral scene. She was like one of the people at the funeral. Yeah. One of the mourners. And Sharon was actually, my friend was, you know, had more of a part. Like she was more up the front. 
Yeah, she was weeping more or something. I guess, yeah. But with Bruce Jenner, mm. I that doesn't surprise me that he would have tried his hand at acting. You know, I went into uh, I went into radio because I wanted to be an actor, and I figured if I went into radio and I did really well in radio, someone would ask me to be in a movie. Mm -hmm. No matter how well, no matter how <laughs> well uh, I got in radio. Nobody ever asked me to be in a movie. You were never in anything? Uh, well. You made Groundhog Day. What? Weren't you on the radio in Groundhog Day? No. No, no, no. Yeah. You were on the radio. Okay, I was the in. What about the couple? What? You were on the radio giving yeah, well, report. Uh, I'm in the movie One Fine Day. Yes. With, okay. with, with, well, what happens is George Clooney gets up in the morning. And his clock radio goes off. That was it. Yeah. And I'm on the clock radio. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> that would be cool if you can actually hear me. You have to have surround sound and then cut yeah. off the front speakers and you'll get hear me really well. And Lori's on okay. it too. Uh, and there was one other movie we were supposed to do. Um, Lori and I were supposed to be in A Bug's Life. Mm. Uh, because they said they had two characters for A Bug's Life that were based on Lori and me. Really? And they ah. said, would you be available to do it? And we, I said, I, I'll ask Lori, but I don't think she'll say no. And they said, well, uh, we're having a meeting at two, 1 o'clock this afternoon. I'll get, we'll get back to you and tell you when and how and so on and so forth. I tell Lori, she's thrilled we're going to be in a Pixar movie, right? You know? And uh, uh, so I'm I'm smiling all day long. Two o'clock comes and goes, and finally the phone rings, and the guy says, "Hi, Alex. Yeah. Well, we had the meeting. We decided not to do it." Oh. Wah, wah. that sucks. That would have been nice, you know. Yeah. It would have been a great legacy for my children. <laughs> <laughs> that was a great movie. Them. Huh? That was a great movie. I love that movie. That my kids movie. were just her yeah. age when it came out. But anyway, that's my, you know. So listen, Jeff is here. Do you, do you have any, uh, he's going to be there for two weeks. He's going to be in Atlanta. Do you have any suggestions of where he should go? Well, I mean, have you been here before? Yes. Okay. So you've probably been all to the normal, you know, things, right? The aquarium. Yeah. Uh, Centennial yeah. Park. Oh, yeah. um, I don't know. You should go. I don't even know. I don't even know where to tell you. You know, what I, went, you know what I went to when I was in Atlanta? What? I they I got we got in a car and we went out to that uh, what what's a Civil War memorial on the side of the mountain? Oh, Stone Mountain, yeah. Stone Mountain, mm -hmm. yeah. Is it still there? Yeah. Or they chiseled it. Oh. No, it's still there. They'll never get rid of that. Are you kidding? Really? Me? You, you don't think so? Even with all the uh, all the no, no, no. they no one. It's too. It's too well known. Uh, there would be such a Paul is back. Uh, there's too much. There would be too much of an uproar for sure. Yeah, um, yeah. But it, 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 we went to. Start. You just have to think of the grain of salt. It's just, they they treat it. They just treat it more like patriotic. They don't really focus on the fact that they were the rebels. You know, they it's just they just make it more like yeah, generally patriotic like mm -hmm. America. But wow. they do play Dixie, you know, and it's like da, 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 <laughs> as a light and they like they shine these laser lights on the stat on the carving and make them. They then they start animating. It's just like guys like, chiseled like like you know? It, well, it's a Mount Rushmore for people who try to overthrow the government. Traitors, exactly. Yeah. I know. Traitors. <laughs> Ridiculous. It's Mount it's Rushmore with traitors. I, that's a very good d description. Yeah. Of it. yeah. I mean, it's when you really think about it, when you just get down to bare yeah. bones, that's what it is. And it's yeah. sad. So you've been out there. Yeah. Oh, my, my parents lived in Stone Mountain for 35 years, the town of Stone the, Mountain. Really? So, oh. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, you know, the park was like right down the road from their house. And you can see it like you're coming down the interstate, you know, just going from north of the town, of the city or going downtown. You, you see it in the distance. It's big. I mean, I, I've climbed it. I climbed it a couple of years ago. 
Mm. It's a nice park, you know, and like I said, they try to really make it more just like patriotic instead of oh, okay. focusing a lot on the Confederacy. But, is, is Paul yeah. Levin is trying to call again. Let's mm. see here. just on two seconds ago. Here she comes. Well, no, she was on a cell phone. So maybe she's trying to go to her computer. Yeah. Jeff, if you like, if you yeah, like, I, um, hi, my computer came back on. Okay. <laughs> Jeff, if you like, do you like like flowers and plants? You can go to the botanical gardens. I know that's like wait, that's a nice garden, the botanical garden. That could be good. We just went to one in uh, Manhattan. Uh, oh, okay. About two weeks ago, and it was awesome. Which one of the ones in Boston, in in uh, Brooklyn. In in the Bronx. Oh, the Bronx. Okay, because there's a Brooklyn Botanical Garden. Yeah, it is too. Yeah. But the big one is Bronx. Yes. Is it really? Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. It's awesome. It really is. Yeah. And, and uh, oh. uh, uh, Paula, her her electricity went out. So did her computer. But yeah, but I'm I'm one. I'm back now. I uh, and I saw that I could. I had, didn't try that before, but if that happens, I can actually use my phone. I can see that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's always optional, you know. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, uh, so uh, you know, uh, uh, it sounds. Uh, I always like. I like the few times I've been. I was there twice. I was there to visit a girlfriend, and we spent some time together. So that's when she took me to Stone Mountain. And the next time I was there I was at the uh, uh, at the Olympics. Mm -hmm. And I was uh, we did our shows from the Olympics, and I was to the Olympic Park the day before they blew the thing up. Oh, the bombing! Yeah, yeah, oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot to do here. I just unfortunately, I just don't avoid get down bombings here. is one of them. Yeah, yeah, avoid bombings. Right. There's a lot to do here. I just don't get down there. There's yeah. so much traffic. Yeah. It's such a it's such a nice town, you know. It is. There's a lot of traffic. Yeah. And of course, Georgia, no. home of Marjorie Taylor Greene. So come on. Can you do better oh. than that? <laughs> Gag. Gag. And I had to like see the results of the primary. We're on the cruise ship on Tuesday and we're looking at the you know the primaries and seeing how much of the vote she got. I'm just um, like, y'all, like how much of the vote? How much of the vote did she I get? I don't know, but I mean it's where she is. It's that's but just, anybody voted for her is just amazing. I'm saying she comes from people or something. I mean, well, she ran unopposed. She was. She did she run unopposed opposed. in the primary. Of course, she got votes. Right, that's what I'm saying. But there's people like I know there's people that will vote for her. You know, and but but I'm just amazed that people. I'm sure she ran. If she ran unopposed, it probably didn't. Not many people voted. But I mean, if somebody ran against her, she, they might win. I feel yeah. like somebody had tried two years ago and they she won. And it was like a veteran, like a you know, a military a, veteran, a black guy, a, you know, I was, it was a strong Democrat who ran. He got like thirty right. twenty. Maybe he was the Democrat. Maybe he was the Democrat. I was thinking he was a Republican. What what, what were um, you what were you saying, uh, Andrew? There there was, I can't think of the guy's name, but there was a Democrat who ran and everyone thought the, the party dumped tons of money to try to uh, get yeah. her out. It's yeah. a strong red district. So he, he got it like 25 or 30 percent of the vote. Yeah, that's so probably who I'm thinking of. He was such a strong candidate. I'm like, I was like, well, you know, that's the kind of people we need yeah. in office. The only you know, way to but... get her out is to find another Republican to run against her on a sanity. Team. I know. Yeah, she's uh, she's the worst. Well, he, she'd probably be easy to win against if anybody tried. If anybody tried. I wish she would just get bored and just move on. To <laughs> you know what I mean? Just, just I wish she would just get bored of it. You wish a lot of people in politics would get bored, you know. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, she gets too much attention. It gets too much attention. Absolutely. Uh, but uh, anyway, uh, let me see here. What else is there to talk about? Um, I had the uh, incredible pleasure yesterday of meeting my first granddaughter. granddaughter. Oh, congratulations. Oh, oh, yes. oh, well, Grandma, how does it feel? Uh, I, not not processing it yet, but yeah. <laughs> my business manager, Gary, 
has a lot of grandchildren. He's like, uh, and he's got great grandchildren. Maybe he's ninety eight mm. now, eighty nine rather, eighty eight, whatever. He has great grandchildren, but he has a couple of great grandchildren. Yeah. Well, this this made my mother a great grandmother. So, but how old are you now, Len? I'm sorry. How old are you now? I'm sixty three, almost sixty four. You could live to see a great grandchild. Yeah. yeah, well, my my mother's ninety six, and she just did. So, <laughs> Charlie, tell him you. Oh, that is a great <laughs> grandchild for her, isn't it? Charlie's gonna have. He's gonna be a pop pop. Yeah, I can't wait yeah. till November. Oh yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. I was gonna. I told Marjorie today about that, Charlie. I knew. Good that, that my 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 fourth is on the way. Just found out. Oh, yes. and my third is on the way in November too. Y'all are making me so jealous. I can't even get mine married off. <laughs> uh, you can't yeah. even get yours married off. Well, they're, they're, they're in relationships, but they're just taking their sweet time. You know. I'll be glad to do it. Yeah. Order. Did you bug yeah. them about it? Because my mother no. bugged me about it. My mother used to always. No, but I don't. Alex, I don't. You're going to make me a grandmother. Yeah. It's just so surreal because my oldest daughter, Sydney, she's going to be 29 in August. And that's how old I was when I had her. So it's like mm. so surreal to think she's going to be the age I was. When you I had, had your first child at 29? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Okay. So mm -hmm. you, you got a, you got a long, that's when you should have them. You know? Yeah, I think so. That's yeah. the best time. Yeah. So your wild oats for as long as you can in your 20s. And at the end mm -hmm. of your 20s, start planning on having a family. That's really the way it should go. You know. But how old were you, Charlie, when you got married the first time? When I got married the first time, I was 29. But when I had my first kid, I was 36. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Because I was, how was how old was I when I uh, when I had my first child? No, I didn't. <laughs> Is there something we don't know? <laughs> well, wait a minute. Actually, I did have a first child, if I believe the woman. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. And I was 18 when I had my first child, or 19. 19. Yeah. So. You, you think it's time we should tell him, Dad? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I, I've, left, I've left that up to Howard Stern. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well, um, being, being a grandparent is the best. Well, Me? that's what I've been told. That's what I've been told. Yes, that's what I've been told too. I'm on that. Thanks a lot. Holding that little girl yesterday was was pretty incredible. I got to say. Yeah, yeah, but you know the great part about it is Gramps. Yeah, yeah. There you go. <laughs> yeah, well, <I'm> done. <laughs> Gramps is that you can hold the kid. You can nurture the kid. You can even take the kid to a movie, you know? Yeah. But after you do, you get to go home. And That's the kid right. stays with the mother. Oh, okay. yes, it does. <laughs> so you get the best of being a parent. Yeah, you know? sure. And yeah. There isn't a person I know that's been a grandparent that hasn't said that's true. How many here? Are they, we have any other grandparents here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, is that right, Jeff? It's it's yeah. a perfect thing. It's almost better than having ki your kids yourself, you know. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> well, my my uh, grandkids are are all uh, um, getting older. Uh, one of them just graduated from college. Two of them are in oh, wow. college. One is a senior in high school. I mean, they're just getting older and older uh, adults. You know? Yeah. But uh, it's pretty nice. You could wind up being a great grandparent soon. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So uh, whatever. So let me see here. Yeah, it, it, anybody else a grandparent here? No. Adrian's not going to date till I'm dead. So that's <laughs> <laughs> when she brings when he, she brings her first boyfriend home when she's thirty six. I have her. I already had her sign the contract. She. You mean when the guy pulls up on? She said, "Boys have cooties," and I said, "Okay, then sign this document for me." Yeah. In blood. Yeah. She said, wait, 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 till he, wait till he pulls up in a motorcycle. Yeah. yeah. Oh. And that that motorcycle won't I run my McLaren. So. <laughs> my, my question is to so those of you who have had children. 
what happened when you finally found out they had had sex? Oh, mine never had sex. <laughs> Wait a minute. Mine hasn't found out yet. Your daughter's 29. It's, 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 she's it's never so had weird. Sex. It's so weird to what think. You, it's like, oh. But I mean, did it's she worse, tell it's worse you than your that parents she had? about your parents. Mandy? No, did, did, did my kids? No. Did but I mean, I just had to. They don't you until years later. Yeah, I mean, like, you know, when my oldest daughter, when she was a senior in high school, the guy she was dating, who she ended up dating all through college, but they're not together anymore. Um, you know, she would like, she started spending the night at his house, like the second part, like second half of the senior year. She, I'm just going to stay at Austin's house. And I'm like, okay. And I'm just like, okay. <laughs> Did you sleep I mean, that I night? Stay, you know. Did you sleep uh, that night? I, I just... You know, I'm just like, I'm not going to think about it. It's like, la, 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 la. <laughs> I mean, I don't know what her dad thought. I guess her dad. Well, someday. Uh, uh, too. Yeah, but someday Brian's going to have to face that possibility. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brian's shaking his head. No. <laughs> I was like, yeah, you're muted, we, Brian. There was a uh, Stephanie, so Stephanie 16. She had a track meet and she's with her girlfriends running around or whatever. And the track meet, and then I'm leaving to go to the car to get uh to get a jacket, and then there's some tall kid, real tall kid, had one of the beanies on, and sort of walking, trying to act up cool and stuff, and he walked by me, and I sort of noticed him just because of his height, and then I got my jacket and I came back, and then Stephanie came over to talk to me, and that guy was like hiding around the corner, sort of. And she's, <laughs> oh, can I stay here a little bit longer? And I'm all. Who's the guy staring at me, Stephanie? <laughs> she says, yeah. Oh, and then her mom, her mom was sort of next to me, and she says, "Don't embarrass her, don't embarrass her." And I said, "Oh no, we'll talk later." So that's her boyfriend. But you see, that was a different one you had to deal with because that wasn't your blood yeah. shot. Okay, no, thank you, Adrian is a different story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be dead. <laughs> if you're not so, dead, it will kill you. Okay. Yeah, 16, 16 years or he will kill the kid yeah. <laughs> yeah i never i never worried about it with my kids because now right now there's only one man in her life and that's you you know mm -hmm. I, I see her with you she adores you and you adore her you know it's wonderful uh yeah i'm envious of you <laughs> and typically just what i've learned over the years and just from my own experience if you have a good relationship with your father and your father, you know, shows you lots of love and unconditional love, you tend to have more successful relationships. Yeah, sure. well, she, Adrian, I can tell, adores you. Yeah. And my other friends here on Facebook who actually look at my posts, they'd tell you the same. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, um, I wanted to ask uh, uh, Francine, do you, you, have, any, you have any kids? No, I was, um, my, my first husband, Gil, who was Susan's cousin, your wife, Susan's cousin. Right. He wanted to have kids and I just sort of wasn't ready. So we ended up getting divorced. And so, and I'm in my second marriage now, but, but that was like too late. <laughs> so I just never had kids. You, you know? feel bad about it? Sometimes, but, you know, but then it just passes. I, I do like when I hear about my friends who are grandparents, I'm like, oh, that is so nice. And, you yeah. know, but yeah, then it, she looks at her bank account and sees all the money. Yeah, there. <laughs> exactly. There you go. No, but I, there but you I go. think I think back and I go, but I, I made that choice. You know what I mean? So yeah. like if I'm going to regret it, it's like I, I thought about it at the time and it just wasn't. Well, Marjorie, wasn't Marjorie, did you ever feel bad about not having kids? Yeah. Really? Off and on, yeah. Yeah. Then it got to the point where it's just too late. Why didn't you want yeah. to have one, or did you just not? Husband number one had four kids, and he had a vasectomy. Husband number two didn't want them. Yeah. And your husband number three. And husband number three had nothing working anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Shooting blanks. Yeah, yeah, that that's what you get for a prostate problem, you know, for can prostate cancer. They just go down there and beat it up. Uh, how many kids have, uh, 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 Charlene? I have three. I have two boys and a girl. Mm -hmm. And do, uh, do you have grandchildren? Yeah, I have two granddaughters and I have a grandson on the way. 
On the way. Okay. So, you know. Great. But there are a couple of us here that never had kids. I never had a kid. Francine never had a kid. Marjorie never had a kid. And 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 Edward, you never had any children, right? That's right. Was never married. So yeah, never married. No, nope. that's what that's when you managed to escape. That's right. And like, and like in mansion, he's in the mansion right now, and his butler's going to cook <laughs> that's <all> right. dinner <laughs> right now. Jeez. Yep, yep, yep. He has lots of money. Right? That's right. <laughs> he didn't have to spend it on anybody. Oh, imagine, imagine what he sounds like in the morning before he brushes his teeth. Jesus. <laughs> Andy, you had, you had, you had a, how many kids, Andy? Two or three? Me. I have two daughters. Two daughters. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and uh, Charlie, how many kids did you have? Three. Three. All by the same two wife? What? Two girls and a boy. And all by the same marriage? Yes. Okay. And uh, yeah. how about you, uh, uh, Len? How many kids did you have? Just one. Uh, he's 28. Right. And uh, let's see. Here's anybody. How about Jeff? You had how many? I had three kids. Two of them from my first wife. And then the last one is from Andrew, uh, whose name you met him once. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's from Pam. Pam and I. Wow. Okay. And how about Paula? Paula, how many kids did you have? I had a son and a daughter. I have a son and a daughter, and I have three grandchildren. Wow. So, I mean, they I live with. Tell, I can tell you that with with a daughter, uh, um, uh, the 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 best thing about being a grandmother is that she now has a daughter who is twelve years old and is driving her crazy because she's twelve years old. Yeah. And my daughter yeah. says to me, "You know, like she'll complain about it to me, and I'll go." Uh-huh. <laughs> and, and, and she says, yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> well, it's amazing. I met up with Marjorie, who never had any kids, and I never had any kids. And, uh, you know, I, both of us, I think, waited too long is what happened, you know. Well, I, I like four, four of my closest friends didn't have kids. One had a kid and then got divorced like five months later. And then I had my, I had Adrian at 48. So we, we had a great single life. Though. <laughs> but you, you don't, you, you don't have to get divorced because you're not married. Right now. Right. Exactly. That's, yeah. That's the, Is that a possibility? <laughs> what? What marriage or divorce? Marriage. Marriage. Or marriage. <laughs> no comment. And it's two o'clock, by the way. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yes, we're running over. I don't want to say anything and get Charlie story, upset. But... Charlie's gonna be mad at me, you know. And speaking of that, the next cruise I go on is gonna be the one with no kids. There you go. Oh, oh, there we're we're not going on any cruise that has kids on them. Uh, no, but no kids. Not, I mean, yeah. and I had kids, like you know, but I'm just like some of the. And I know we're going over, but I can't believe how many people I, I, are on I, this cruise ship with babies in strollers. Yes. That's like, what I was not going to remember. Like, did you well. not realize you were about to have a baby when you booked this cruise? I mean, there was a lady that was, had like a one month old. Oh, oh my God. God. Yeah. I'm like, what in the hell? Anyway, do they have to pay for that kid or does that kid get to go? I have no, no idea. But I, I just, there were so many people on there with babies. I just did not. Get well, that uh, I just told Marjorie, we're just not taking any cruise that has a water slide. No. <laughs> which, I consider, which, which I consider on a ship to be redundant. Okay. Yeah. I, I only want those water slides to <clears throat> all the way down and wind up in the water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, anyway, we run out of time here. And by the way, this thing has run beautifully. No stalling, no nothing. Just really. Here we go. I know. Yeah. Wait till I mean, here yeah, we'll we see. go. The only person who's allowed to Wednesday say that night. is Len LaFrisco. Why? <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. It's always fun. I enjoy this so much, you know. I mean, I, I just... Uh, this show just uh, warms the cockles of my heart. This works. Huh? It well, works great. You know, this you is got, a great, you yeah, great. I wouldn't great. want to be anywhere else. You people are very yes. protective of this show, too, because sometimes when somebody comes on that maybe is a little too, shall we say, obnoxious, mm -hmm. uh, I get letters from you guys saying, 
Boot them out. Boot them out. I don't want them <laughs> on here. We have a nice family here. We don't want this family to be broken up. Right. Is that where Andrew went? <laughs> Did you kick him off? We didn't mean to kick nice. him off. Nice. No, Andrew, I think, probably had something to do. He yeah. he does have a life, you know. Unlike the rest of you. Let that be a lesson to you. Really? Hey, that's uh, that's it for now. I thank Charlene for being here, and I thank Len. Always a pleasure. Marjorie, eh. Uh, uh, see, I have to deal with her. When the show's over with, she's still here, okay? Yeah. She doesn't disappear with the... You ain't going drink. away. Yeah. Uh, what are we having tonight? Oh, yeah, all this is leftover. All in the, the leftovers. Uh, yeah. Uh, see, by the way, uh, thank you, Charlie. Leftover night. Thank you, Francine. Wonderful having you here. Brian, always a pleasure. You know that. Uh, Jeff, great to have you here. Uh, we got to thank Pam. Andy, you look so oh. rested and so happy on a holiday. It's great to see you. And, and you <laughs> participate more, you know, which is good. Uh, yeah. And, of course, Paula, who we just adore, and who's coming out here in July. So mm. Yes, sir. We'll get to see her. Uh, are you going to be All here right. on Monday? I'll be going back home on Monday, but uh, maybe I'll, I'll hit uh, um, my home at the same time that you're on. Let's oh, see. okay. Because if you were here, I would just have you sit next to me and do it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's fine. Yeah, it is fun. <laughs> and I had you on, right, Mandy? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In here. August. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's fun. And uh, finally, we just uh, sign off here. You forgot and... Oh, no, you forgot somebody. Who? You didn't say goodbye to Lynn. I did. Yeah, you did. I was. Yeah, you did. I said goodbye to Lynn. Boy, thanks, Mom, for being such a cop. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, uh, and finally, we have to sign off uh, th this program. The only way we can sign off by having our good friend, Edward Berger, say, That's all, folks. Bye-bye, <laughs> everybody. Bye. Bye. Thank you, Alice. Okay, bye-bye.